All right, we'll wake it up. Wake it up. Oh, get some coffee in here. You know, the problem with DoorDash is you tell them to leave the thing. It says right in the app, leave in my front door. Don't talk to me. Get the heck off my property, right? All that stuff. But sometimes they approach and they don't leave or they'll knock or they'll ring the bell and they're looking for something. They're looking to say, hey, here's your food or they're looking to talk to you. And uh, they, they shouldn't do that. Just just leave it and, and leave. Right. Uh, you know, I'm I'm often looking through the window, watching them with the food. It's the, the whole thing is creepy. And then if they do leave it, they take a picture and they send a team like here. We know where you live. I don't know. The, the, the whole thing. Steve Warner here from GetRevix.com, and today we're going to talk about a very uh, hot button issue around Intune. Uh, it's going to be reporting. You know, a lot of folks have mixed feelings on it. By mixed feelings on it, nobody likes the reporting that's built into Intune. So we're going to start looking at some alternatives. In the past, we looked at doing stuff with Log Analytics or Azure Monitor. Uh, but today we're going to take a different look at things. We're going to look at how to get your Intune reports using Power BI. What do you mean stop ordering so much takeout? That's not the conversation we're having. Okay, I didn't realize this was the judgmental part of the show. Okay, when, how long does this go? Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. All right, so for those of you who use Power BI, and I don't, right? So uh, I made sure it was in my tenant by going into office, uh, more apps, and I saw that it was there. So I'm assuming there's some licensing for it. Uh, I just did a search for Power BI and there it is. And of course there's the web app version, which comes up under Microsoft Fabric. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, but I, I also wanted to grab the desktop app. And if you want to do that, you just go to the store and search Power BI and you can grab the Power BI desktop app. So that's what we're going to be working with. I have it installed here. Um, and we're going to kind of be going through this together. So the crux of everything, in Intune is when you go to reports, you know, obviously these are the built in ones um, and that's fine. Uh, endpoint analytics, stuff like that. But notice down here, it says Intune data warehouse. Now what's the data warehouse? So this is, think of this as the, the wire that comes out of Intune that you can go plug into things like Power BI. It's essentially all the data, it's, it's a data feed. So all the data feeding out of Intune. Okay, so to get started in this case, we go to Power BI and we are going to get data from another source. Okay, and I just did a search for data warehouse and look at that Intune data warehouse beta shows up. And that's the, to, as far as I know, this is the one to go with here. So we're gonna hit connect. Uh, third party service, that's fine. Don't warn me, we're living on the edge number of days of history to retrieve. Hmm. Let's go 30. So I'm going to try to sign in. So I don't know if it's going to prompt me for the data warehouse in this case, because if I sign in with the proper rights, it'll probably just authenticate me. So I don't know if you need, I would try with Intune admin. If you have GA rights, perhaps do it that way. Probably just guarantee it, but Obviously, if it's your tenant versus a prod tenant, it's a little different. So it says I'm signed in. So let's connect and see what happens. And again, we're learning this together, right? Just I get asked about this all the time. There's a lot of stuff here. So it looks like I could see the different categories, devices, device registration states, all that, all that good stuff. Um, now, if we look at this stuff, let's see here if we do uh, let's just do devices and let's load that, see what kind of data comes in. All right, so I'm going to bring in device name. And we'll select all. Let's see if we can get this in here. All right, so this brought in all my device names. All right, let's say I want to bring in another field. Oh, okay, and it's going to give me the model. Okay, so see, I'm kind of building a table here. And uh, it looks like I could just keep going with that. Uh, primary user. Oh, cool, cool. So I'm just kind of just keep adding here. All right, I know what you're saying. Steve, stop. You suck at Power BI. You have no idea what you're doing. Uh, you're bald. You, you need a different color glasses. Where, what? 
Ooh, sorry. But but the cool thing about this is you don't necessarily have to be a Power BI expert to get started. They have pre-built solutions, and we're going to take a look at one now that you can download and you can add to Power BI so you can just connect your data and not have to you know do what I'm doing here. Unless you're a Power BI wizard, then of course, by all means, have at it. So I am going to, for lack of a better term, scrap this because I feel like it sucks. Okay, so what are we going to do? There is some pre-built solutions, so I'm going to go to one here. And of course, this particular solution was created for us by Microsoft MVP, a tremendous resource in the community, Janik Reinhard. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that name. It's like a thing I do, so, you know, 50-50. So we are going to download this dashboard and I believe, well, let's take a look at the read. Let's go over it together. So this looks really nice. I'd love to have something like this. It looks like this will link us to a blog about it. I'll put this below. Awesome. So this looks, this looks great right here. So that's what I, that's what I want. I'm going to want that dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and hopefully that'll open inside the app. looks like it is. So I hit refresh up here and that should redo the data. Okay, wow, so this is the dashboard with my data. Took a few minutes to just do the import. 59 devices, 36 different OS versions. We could see registration date, enrollment type, enrollment type. Looks like there's some weird objects here. Um, but if we click on one, we can see where it fits into this data. So that is a bulk Azure domain joint. So these are my migrated machines. That's kind of cool. If we look here, we're getting registered, not yet available. So it looks like there are some that were taken out, but there's still some records of. It's pretty cool. If I click on the, the Mac ones, I can see the, that Mac device. All right, so this is a list of my apps. Unknown, so it looks like unknown must be the Win32. All right, cool, so most policies are succeeding. Count per platform. Okay, you get the different platforms I have things set up for. These are all the policies. I could see the policy version. That's pretty cool, I could search. There's OneDrive. So this is just a dashboard I'm using, but it just kind of shows you ways you can very easily get the data out of Intune. Yeah, and just getting it inside this other view, right? With a lot more insight to kind of some more granular stuff, right? So look, that's a great dashboard. Um, I'll put the link below so you can grab it. Ultimately, there's so much you can mold with that data coming out um, that this is just kind of the tip of it. Right. So if you are familiar with Power BI, you're probably going to have a much easier time. There are some different templates out there as well. We're going to explore in some upcoming posts. Uh, there's also a way we can work with uh, the endpoint analytics as well. Right. We can pull things in from the graph here, too. So this is just kind of the getting started, getting the data from Intune and putting it into something that's not Intune, right, uh, like Power BI and, you know, that's a great template to start with. So let me know on the Discord. I'm curious what everyone else is using. I talk about reporting all the time, and there doesn't seem to be a silver bullet. But we always like to know what's working for you. We'll be seeing you.